Classic car lovers will probably appreciate this video. That is an actual mod, an actual 1922 Model T. Those students are dissecting it, disassembling, and then reassembling and enjoying an amazing hands-on experience. Paula Tubman takes us inside the classroom for a ride through history. These kids will never forget. At University Liggett School in Gross Point, this is what a history class looks like. Students literally putting themselves in the driver's seat of an original 1922 Model T touring car. Not a replica, but the genuine article, thanks to a grant from the Edward E. Ford Foundation. Disassembling and reassembling in ways which might not have been done before. So really kind of embodying the idea of the innovator mindset. Part shop, part popular mechanics, part history and sociology, sprinkle in some innovation. These students have had this vehicle and have been learning and thinking about it for the balance of the year. And today, they actually got to get their hands dirty. It was cool how, like, during that time period, you know, they transitioned from, like, uh, horses to, like, cars, you know. I mean, obviously, their lives were greatly impacted, but, I mean, the scale of it was global. These students are encouraged to use their creativity to reimagine the car so that it's part old history and kind of part current events. Some are changing out the horn, some are working on the steering wheel, some are working on changing the headlights into LED lights, some are chroming the, t the wheels, uh, while others are trying to figure out um, why there are only three doors in the car. And what are the chances to have a kid named Henry learning from the sheer genius of Henry. At first we started just learning about like the history of the car and like the parts. We went to the Ford Piquette plant, looked at uh, different models of the Model T like different years and now we're finally like taking apart the car and we get to choose a part that we want to like make better or edit. Edit. That word is important because that's part of the learning. Seeing not just what was but reimagining the things that make it fit into the modern world. There's kind of like two parts of the headlights. There's the headlights and there's the lamps on the side. And so obviously cars now still have headlights. So I think it would, we thought it would be best if we continued the headlights, but gave them like modern LED lights <clears throat> to make the lights brighter or show clearer. For these students, learning history this way is even better than a book. You just gotta immerse yourself with the history of the car. In other history classes that I've had, it's hard to imagine yourself there, but in this class, when you're hands-on and you're doing the stuff, and you can imagine like what it was like to build that car or um, really drive that car. Paula Tutman, Local 4. By the way, this is not a one semester project. The vehicle will remain at the school as part of the history curriculum for future juniors and seniors to continue the restoration and those edits.